Hello, everyone. Welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before your holy presence, and I thank you, I praise you for the wonderful work that you are doing in the lives of each and every one of your children. Thank you for sending the Holy Spirit to guide and to direct, to comfort, and to encourage. Thank you, Father God, for being our all in all and providing all of our needs according to your riches and glory. Father, today is the Sabbath day. I ask you, Father God, that you will be with all of the services that are going on around the world today. May your Holy Spirit be evident in each and every service through the direction of the service, each and every song, poem, special hymn, reading of the scripture, every message that is preached, Father God. May your Holy Spirit move through the church, touch the youth, strengthen the youth, touch your members, Lord. Encourage those who are faltering in their faith, Lord. If there is anyone in the services who have turned away from you and just going because their parents dragged them there, their spouse dragged them there, they're going just for show, but their heart is far away from you. I ask that you will send your Holy Spirit to touch their hearts, touch their mind, Lord. Let them know that you love them and you're calling them. Father, allow them to respond to your Holy Spirit's calling. Father God, I beg that you will protect all of those who are going to be traveling to church. Allow them to arrive safely, Father God, to hear your word, to fellowship one with another. Father, I ask that you will be in this devotional today. Open up our spiritual eyes and ears for what you have in store. Help us to be encouraged by learning about the life of one of your missionaries. In Jesus' name, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, Gabrielle Monarca. It was written by Anonymous and translated by Maria Elena Cardona. It is brought to you by your sister Lisa Hernandez and taken from the book Mesa de Fe, page 135. Our biblical base today comes from Revelations 26. So says the word of God. Blessed and holy is the one who has a part in the first resurrection. Over these the second death has no power, but they will be priests of God and of Christ and will reign with him for a thousand years. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. A faithful and exemplary servant, Gabriel Monarca's life was clear evidence of what the Lord can do with the lives of the simple and humble men, but with transformed hearts and willingness to dedicate their lives and everything they possess to the cause of their master, Jesus Christ. A faithful and devoted and sacrificed soldier, his love for the work of the Lord placed him today on the highest rungs of honor. His absence reminds us of our pilgrim journey on this earth, where he received his entrance pass to the heavenly homeland. He was baptized in water in 1977. In April of 81, he became a missionary. In 1982, he received the promise of the Holy Spirit, and his message says this, Multiply your talents. Will you be able to win with the things of this world that perish and save your soul? He who renounces himself and all the things he possesses, he will be able to be my disciple. Have you done the same? By my mercy I have accepted and received you. Work for me, and your payment will be eternal happiness. Monarcha, repent, come, and dwell in me. He worked as a crusader, carrying the message and raising funds for the constructions of churches and pastoral houses. He worked as a missionary in Los Angeles, California, Tucson, Arizona, and eventually Austin, Texas. In that place, he began a special work. They acquired a property and prepared a place to live in the congregation that became one of our locations in the United States. It was there that he retired. His work will continue with him and with all of us who knew him. 
His unconditional service was the product of his gratitude to his faithful creator. A great missionary who embodied humility, his consecration and service are the inheritance that today he leaves for all of us who had the happiness and the pleasant satisfaction of knowing him. Amen. My brothers and sisters, may we be encouraged by the life of Gabriel. May we understand that we don't have to be high and lofty. We don't have to be famous or somebody with status and education and money or land. We just have to be simple and humble men and women ready and willing to serve the Lord with a consecrated heart, doing whatever it is that the Lord has called us to do. May we be encouraged. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory.
Amen. What a beautiful song. And now we invite you to check out the YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children now and forever. Amen.